Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking briefly at how you can specify the default save location for files in Microsoft Word on the Mac. So I have a brand new document here that has not yet been saved. You can see it's document one. When I go to file and then save, it's going to default to the location that I last used for saving my documents, which is my documents folder. I'm going to save that to this location, but I am also going to show you what some options are. Down here is an online locations option, and if you were already looking at online locations, then this would be your local drive. When you go to online locations, if you select an online location to use, for example, I'm going to put this in work files, you'll see that there's an option to set this as a default save location. But this only works when you're looking at a OneDrive location. It doesn't work on your local disk. So that's really important to know. There is no option to set a default save location in Microsoft Word if you're using your disk. So I'm just going to go back to on my Mac. I'm going to save it here in my documents folder. You can see it's going back to where I saved files last time. I'll just click save. Now you will potentially have that option if you save to your local disk next time you come to Open Word and save to a drive, it's going to default to your local disk if this is the circumstances. The first one is that auto save is turned off. So here I have auto save turned off. If I was using auto save, then it's going to save to the cloud. There's no choice there. So if you want to be able to default to saving on your local disk on a Mac, you're going to need to turn autosave off. And there are two locations for autosave. There's autosave here for the current document. There's also in the word preferences, in the save area here, there's an autosave option here. Now, for me, I haven't found that that's a necessity to turn this one off because mine is automatically saving by default to my local drive because I don't use OneDrive. I only use my local disk. So I haven't needed to turn that off, but you may need to. And so I'm going to just turn that off. And when I save this file or close Word, open it, create a new file and go to save it, I have found that this is consistently offering to save to my local drive, so I'm not getting messed up with OneDrive on this Mac. But from my readings, it's going to depend a bit on whether your autosave options are enabled or not. So it's not perfect. It's far from perfect. It's much easier on a PC than it is on a Mac, but hopefully that will at least solve some people's problems in terms of trying to extract yourself from using OneDrive, which is a big pain in the neck, and be able to just access and save on your local computer. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.